What's up guys, this is RG giving you another high definition broadcast. As you can see, we're back here on Unison League and we are going against Final Fantasy 7 FFVII. Uh, back in, if you don't uh, know that, it's Final Fantasy 7. So check it out guys, um, this is actually going to be a different type of video. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, start getting into it. I'm just um, calling out which targets we're going to go target. and. Uh, Basically, that's how I start every match. I, ch I check every target, tell everybody what to target, and make sure you cheer. They start out with an ether exchange. We unison up and we uh, cheer up. Um, they go straight for uh, Yumi, I believe, yeah, and then I switch with Yumi instantly. Then I go on the target that uh, we are designated to kill, which is uh, uh, Okami. Uh, then I switch over to uh, the different target. Uh, we're going for uh, Yuki this time, um, and we are uh, doing our cheers and everything. Um, they are. They did do the ether exchange, so we're probably gonna go down in this one. Uh, however, we get like a little bit of bonus on the on the next run. Um, so, uh, as you can see, Magic Man going for Mephisto. Uh, however, I didn't um, call Mephisto or anything. So we just gotta. You gotta make sure you target the right characters. Um, also, uh, right here, we are just gonna be cheering up. And uh, at, at this point, I actually save my guild. Um, my guild battle thing, uh, the, the heal, so that I can actually have more uh, costs for the next round, because I know that uh, we're all going to get our um, unison up by this point, and I know that uh, I don't really need to use the guild bond for a heal, just because um, it's going to take up more unison than I need, and I, my cheer is going to do the effect of having more um, the unison there. So, uh, it's about 10 seconds left, we're all saying that we're not going to unison, we're going to go kill two or three of their members, and then we're going to um, damage DPS the crystal. This is uh, going well in our situation at this point because they don't have too much DPS on the crystal, and we all have unison. So we're going straight for um, a, da a damage phase this time, just going as high damage as we can, and going uh, s like two targets uh, max. Uh, Alright, I get taken out. Pretty quickly, they they all know that I have high uh, magic damage, so they're they're targeting me fast. And then uh, somebody's supposed to uh, come in for me a little bit faster on that. Uh, however, the the swap was very sh kind of slow, but it's no problem. Uh, we're gonna do uh, high damage to this crystal, and then we're gonna go straight into a uh, unison. So uh, it's going s uh, smoothly so far, and uh, as you can see, we only have. Uh, like six or seven players online right now and we don't have actually ten players in our roster so as you can see um, we are lo a little bit uh, short-handed as well as PKK uh, Laxus Jr. It is a uh, level uh, like 70 and he has like 80k gear score so he actually never shows up to guild battles because he's just uh, too low he'll get uh, instantly one-shotted so we're doing damage and uh, we're uh, we're about to swap back quick in because he has the fire valkyrie. I don't have a fire valkyrie So he's going in with the fire valkyrie to do a, a two fire valkyrie three Alice setup um, So uh, At this point we're gonna do a fast unison, but um, instead of everybody going in on that We should have done two Alice one Shinatobi and two fire valkyrie This is at at this point we would have beat them anyway, so we should have waited until uh they they put up all their stuff so um instead of uh doing that uh, we did three alice two uh fire valkyrie however this is not the critical moment of where we lose i'll show show you exactly what happens uh to um to us in this uh so uh watch this guys we uh we do a good unison here we are doing uh, good damage to them uh we kill them all they use all their unit uh, four of their unisons. We use five of our unisons. But now check out this phase right here, guys. We we're gonna do good damage here on on the uh, crystal with a buff. Uh, and then I'm telling people to sub out if you don't have any costs, right? So uh, they're gonna sub me in if they don't have any costs. And uh, there it is. There we're gonna get a I, I get a sub in from Taro, and uh, I'm gonna DPS this crystal as much as possible. Right here, um, I could, if I proc my meteor right there, it would have been much better. Or I proc my photon crush. None of my photons or my meteor uh, proc. Uh, but right here, let's pause the video right here, right now. As you can see, uh, Magic Man right there, um, he actually has uh, is a CPU. So he actually either left the game or disconnected at this point. 
And at this point in the game, uh, let's go back a little bit. We have uh, before before I right before I swap in uh, right here. So five player on the field, right? That are all all players. Me and then Magic Man and then us two right here. So that means that uh, at this point we have seven right here, and then at this point we have uh, like right before Magic Man swaps in, right? Here, at this point right here, we have six players, so 10 seconds left on the clock, guys, right? Um, sorry, 10 seconds left on the clock, and we have Magic Man in there as a CPU. Now, let's see what happens exactly in this match. Magic Man, very not doing anything, not doing anything, not doing anything. One nice blitz, goes back to his spot, nothing, 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 and then we lose at this point, guys, because you don't have players that are active you will lose games just make sure you know that at this point in the match we have like seven uh, six players and then we swapped in a CPU that we thought was a player that was on our team so um, this is a top 10 uh, you know GVG that we're in right here so I, ex I would expect players to be on our, on our, uh, on our squad uh, seeing as we only have 9 out of 10 players, one of our players is uh, below 80k gear score and doesn't ever show uh, to, to the uh, matches, so it's like a non-player, so it's pretty much 8 players on our squad, and then 2 players um, didn't like show up completely. Uh, we had 7 players for half of the match and then 6 players for the other half, so. This is what loses you guys' games, um, as well as some small execution points that we could have done a little bit better. Um, but. At this point, they have ether exchange. Remember, on the other side of the team, so they're ether exchanging and they're doing high damage to the uh, crystal. Their procs are procking a lot more. And like I said before, uh, uh, if uh, your procs are procking more than the other side of the team, it's gonna help you a lot in that uh, in that sense. I did three skills on the on the crystal, and none of my skills procked. Even though I have uh, two magic testaments, two photons, and a meteor, none of that procked. Um, so that. All those contributing factors contributed to the to the uh, end game result. However, that pivotal moment when we switch in a computer player, uh, when we thought that he was going to be there, it's like devastating. So that is really, really why we uh, lost that game. Um, not trying to take anything away from uh, the other side. Final Fantasy uh, VII definitely a very good game, and very uh, congratulations to you guys. Oh my God, that was that was an amazing game. But. Whew, our side of the team, guys, was, oh, was not fully completed, and um, it was just bad. So, I mean, I'm not trying to make any excuses, I'm just saying that these certain factors will actually contribute to your losing. So just watch out for that, guys. Uh, you definitely want to have players in your guild that are able to um, contribute and be there during the, the battle. I'm just going to replay it because the video starts uh, over again. Uh, so... You know, you just at this point right here is when we should have used the Shinatobi instead of the Alice. However, we honestly didn't know if they were going to use another fire monster, so it would have been uh, up in the air if we would have won that or not if they had five. So it's like the Shinatobi is not too big, but at the the biggest part was having your players be active, guys. So remember that when you're uh, recruiting people, make sure they're going to be active to your GVG if you're trying to go top 10. If you're not, you know, it's not too big of a deal, uh, but if you're trying to go serious with it and get to top 10 or higher, you want to have at least seven active players. Uh, if you have six or lower, you you most likely are going to lose because being able to swap in and out uh, effectively is what's going to make you win those high level games. So uh, that's about it for this one, guys. Tell me if you like the video. Definitely hit up the uh, subscribe button if you can. As you can see, there's a donate button down there. It's strictly for uh, going to be for spawns. Uh, that I'm going to do just specially for this channel and I'm actually going to look into investing into like some t-shirts and like some wristbands like this. This is from my old uh, days when I used to cast uh, Diablo 3 um, and it's a wristband that says RG on it, RG Diablo 3 and then um, stuff like that. So I might make one over here that says like RG Unison or it just says uh, RG on it, something like that. Um, uh, and then I'll go ahead and uh, give that to people like subscribers, uh, donation peop people who donate, and um, stuff like that. So that's what that's for. Uh, definitely hit up my channel for new content coming out daily. And as always, thank you for watching, and take it easy. Peace.